Some some pages that you build inside of She Sells um, don't have. You, you can't attach your domain, um, your main domain link uh, name to it. Like for example, the calendar um, surveys. They all they're all built on a different platform. What's called an API platform, and so it automatically generates a link for you. In this case, because my app is called app.shesells.pro, all, all the pages that you build that are not part of your website, like your site pages and your landing pages, but your um, forms and surveys and calendars, I'm gonna show you. Let's go to forms and we'll look at one of my, one of my forms. I'll show you what I mean. It's going to have the link for this is going to have, it's going to look like this. Let me just show you. Okay, so the link is going to, is going to start with api.shesells.pro. Okay, that's what it will start with. And then whatever else gets added at the end to for that the system does for you um, will be there. But the first part of it will be api.shesells.pro. So if you don't want that, if you want it to say um, api.yourdomainname.com, then let me show you how to do that. Okay, so first you need to go to where you where you host your domain, okay? I host at Namecheap. And you wanna go find where you can update the DNS records. So I'm gonna go look for shecells.pro because that's the name of, of my domain. Yours is probably something something.com. Okay, so go look for that. Look for where you can update the DNS records. And in Namecheap, it's called Advanced DNS, but I don't know why they call it that. It's just called DNS and GoDaddy or DNS in most places. So then you just find that and look for where you can add a new record, okay? If you can't find it, then you just then um, uh, contact your host, you know, whether it's GoDaddy, Namecheap, or, or whoever you're with, and ask them to, to if they would add this particular C name record um, to your to your domain. So if you're going to do it yourself, here's what you do. I already have it here, okay, for for mine. So but I'm going to show you how to do it. So you're going to go to add new record and you're going to have a drop down and you're going to say it's a C name record. Okay? Then you're going to put API okay, right there. And then you're going to put this link dot msgsndr.com okay so um, and then you're gonna save it and that's all you do I'm not gonna save mine because I already have it here okay so when you save it it will look it'll look like this C name host is API value is link dot msgsndr.com okay one more step you're gonna take um, you're going to go to your account whoops okay you're going to go to your account and go to company settings here i'll show you how to get there whoops not company settings your business you're actually your business profile so i'm in mine i'm going to go down to settings then i'm going to go to business profile and you're going to see something called branded domain you'll see a field called branded domain then you're going to put your domain api dot your domain dot com okay so if it's um your name um in my case i have it as she sells dot she sells dot pro yours is probably is going to be something dot com okay then you just upda update that information and then you're done and now um your calendar links and and form links and survey links are going to start with api.yourowndomainname.com